Hey guys, welcome back, my friends. Welcome back to the show that never ends. Welcome back to the Man Cave. My name is Rod. The name of my channel is Happy Hippie the Vinyl Guy. Today's video is for the Jazz Vinyl Tag 2023. Yes, I'm a little late to the game. That's okay. Chris from Tunes from the Man Cave. Tunes from the Man Cave, fantastic channel. This guy is like a jazz encyclopedia. And for the last few years, he's been coming up with the jazz tags. And this is his 10 questions for this year. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. I've been MIA for a minute, you know what I mean? Um, but I want to do this video, so here I go. Your favorite find of 2022. Remember, this is the jazz tag. So my favorite jazz find of 2022. Um, I could show you a few blue notes, but those weren't really finds. That would be me on my phone, you know, going to uh, acoustic sounds and ordering. These are ones I actually found out in the wild. Um, Dizzy Gillespie. Have Trumpet Will Travel on Verve. And this is Minty Fresh, guys. This is an excellent copy of this excellent album. Also, Maiden Voyage. Excuse the glare. Wow, Herbie Hancock. This is an early pressing. I don't think it's a first pressing. But nevertheless, it's in excellent condition. Sounds wonderful, and I got both of these very, very inexpensive, great finds out in the wild. Okay, second question. The first record that made you fall in love with jazz. Let's go back to about 98. I was working for an Americana slash bluegrass station. Bluegrass, I didn't know anything about bluegrass when I started. They hired me because I had been at another Americana station in Fredericksburg, Texas, K-Fan, 1079 The Fan, twice nominated for Americana Station of the Year. WDVX here in Knoxville hired me. I came down here, and they were mixing it with bluegrass, and that's all I was exposed to. Well, I took a part-time job um, at the Disc Exchange that used to be in Knoxville. If you're familiar with Knoxville, you probably remember the Disc Exchange. Well, they had a lot of different types of people working, lots of different types of music, wonderful store. With this dude, uh, I was getting into jazz, not really getting into jazz, but I was curious. I was listening to it because this guy was always playing jazz music. We each got to pick uh, a CD that day. And, you know, when our turn came, we got to play our CD where he was always playing jazz, but he was a punk rocker. And... Um, there's another dude who was an old hippie, and they both were always talking. And anyway, the older dude with the ponytail, the old white dude, told me, hey, if you're into rock and roll, I wanted to get into jazz. You want to get into jazz from a rock and roll spectrum, go with Bitches Brew, Miles Davis. And this album really fucked me up. I mean, I was in love with it. I don't have to tell you anything about this album. I, mean, I just... It was a great introduction to jazz if you're coming from rock and roll. Well, the other dude, he was a punk kind of rock guy. Here's another copy of Bitches Brew I found last year. It's a digital copy, but uh, it sounds wonderful. Sounds really good. Um, the other dude was this punk rock guy, and he was a black dude. And he was like really into hardcore punk and jazz. And he told me, yo, Rod, man, if you uh, if you dig that Miles Davis and you're getting to jazz, let me turn you on to one of my favorites. He goes, you may, you'll be able to relate to him. I didn't know what he meant. Then he goes, well, he's a white boy and he suffered from addiction. And he was in and out of jail. And I didn't know, should I take that as an insult? Okay, I'm white, but. What the fuck? You know, he throws up. He's bitten. Anyway, it was funny. He didn't mean anything disrespectful. He just meant he was like the James Dean of jazz kind of guy. And it was Chet Baker, and I fell in love with Chet Baker's music. 
and Miles Davis. I've been a fan ever since. That's the two I fell in love with, the two jazz musicians. Okay, rock and roll. Let's go forward. Uh, the most far out record in your collection. Um, I don't know anything like far out. Um, this is kind of cool. I cannot pronounce it. Venti. I guess is the name of the album. There's the cat's name. This is jazz. When I hit the lottery, the VCLT lottery, a couple years ago, if you all remember me hitting the VCLT lottery, this is one of the gifts I got. And um, this is a European jazz outfit. And it's pretty far out. And it's excellent. And it's awesome. All righty. On a lesser known uh, label. Okay, we all know these cats. Um, Charlie Parker, uh, Dizzy Gillespie, Charles Mingus, Mac Roach. And this was probably on a proper album label, record label, when it first came out. But this pressing happens to be on Bird's Nest. So I'm probably going to get some bird shit from people saying, well, that's, that's really not the proper answer to that question. But on this particular copy, it's a lesser known label. All right, let's see. A artist with only releases as a session leader. The only person I could come up with, and I heard this on another channel do it, is Sun Ra. And I don't have any of Sun Ra's music to show you, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that question. Favorite early morning jazz? And you could put on some uh, Chet Baker Sings. Fantastic copy of this album. Love this album. You know, it, it's getting you chilling, but if you want to pick the day up a little bit, Kenny Burrell, Blue Note 1543. Cover was done by Andy Warhol. Good album to get your day started. Get that day started. Other questions are late night jazz album. Late night jazz album. That could go a couple different ways. Are you trying to, you know, keep the party going? Put on some Lee Morgan, the cooker. Blue Note reissue. Man, you, you got friends over, y'all are drinking and smoking and listening to Miles Davis on the corner. Great nighttime jazz album. Or has everyone gone home? It's just you and your lady and you want to put all your man, whoever, you want to put on some uh, Peggy Lee black coffee. Some beautiful, beautiful vocal jazz. Easy listening. Fuck it, I'm saying it's jazz. Black coffee to end your evening. An inspirational album. Come on, the sermon, Jimmy Smith. It's a blue note, man. This album is so flipping good. It really is, man. Blue note, the sermon. Um, I was lucky enough to get this album from a friend's collection. Um, he wasn't into jazz at all, and he had it, and we did a little bit of trading, and bada boom, bada bing. Uh, okay, an album with a boring cover. I'm going to show an album with a really cool cover. Look at that. This is, oh, I'm going to get it out of here first. Keep it protected. Waiting. Witten Kelly's trio. What does it say? Winton Trio's Winton Kelly's trio is too much. Yeah, baby, especially with you five cats like Winton, Paul, Jimmy, Kenny, and Kendu. So it's a cool album.
It's a cool cover, far out cover. Anyway, this is Chris's Vinyl Tag Jazz 2023. The Jazz Vinyl Tag 2023. Peace. Chris, I'm sorry it took me so long to get this up, man. I hope you get to watch this video. I'd be shocked if you don't know who Chris's channel is. But if you don't, it's Tunes from the Man Cave. And he's into jazz, but he's also into psych rock and freaking country and Dolly Parton. And just, he's got a big variety, got a huge library. Peace. Be good.